What would you do if the universe suddenly whispered back? If something out there far beyond our planets behaved in a way so unexpected that even the most seasoned astrophysicists paused and asked, what are we really seeing? This isn't about a distant star or another mundane asteroid. It's about an object hurtling through our solar system from the uncharted depths of interstellar space, an object called 3i Atlas. You've probably heard of Oumuamua, the mysterious visitor that sped past us in 2017. You may recall 2i Borisov, the second confirmed interstellar interloper. But now, there's a third one, 3i Atlas. And the strangest part isn't just its path. It's what happened when one of humanity's most advanced rockets, SpaceX's Falcon 9, intercepted something moving on its surface. Let's rewind for a moment. 3i Atlas was first detected moving against the stellar background at a speed no ordinary comet should have. Traveling at over 55 kilometers per second, about 123,000 miles per hour, it was immediately flagged as interstellar. Unlike an asteroid in our solar system, its hyperbolic trajectory ensured it wasn't bound to our sun. Astronomers predicted it would graze through the inner solar system, curve slightly due to solar gravity, and vanish forever into the void. That alone was thrilling, another chance to study matter from outside our cosmic neighborhood. But then came the first anomaly. Using long baseline telescopes, researchers noticed that 3i Atlas wasn't behaving like a typical comet. It wasn't shedding gas in predictable jets. It rotated irregularly, its brightness flickering in ways that didn't match sunlight reflecting off a simple icy rock. Most intriguing of all, some radar pings returned strangely incoherent echoes, as if its surface wasn't uniformly solid, but structured. The object's estimated size was tricky to pin down, but most models suggested a length of roughly 200 meters, about 650 feet, with a peculiar elongated shape, not unlike a muamua, but the spectrum of its reflections was off, showing hints of metals mixed with carbonaceous material. That raised eyebrows. NASA and ESA quickly pulled resources, but there was a problem. Getting a probe there in time is nearly impossible with traditional launch windows. 3i Atlas is fast and already on its way out, but SpaceX had something unique. Reusable rockets with unprecedented launch flexibility. While no official mission to land on 3i Atlas was announced, a Falcon 9 upper stage deployed a set of experimental CubeSats on a trajectory that crossed near its projected path. Most assumed these were simple technology demonstrators. The official statements were vague, too vague. And then, just weeks ago, whispers began circulating online. One of these small spacecraft didn't just pass by 3i Atlas. It intercepted a moving anomaly on its surface. This is where the story shifts, from scientific curiosity to investigative mystery. If true, this means we've had our first close encounter with an interstellar object's surface. And what was found was reportedly not a crater, not a rock, but something shifting, gliding, as if responding to the spacecraft's approach. No one is claiming aliens outright. The data is classified, the videos allegedly encrypted, but enough credible leaks have surfaced to warrant asking, what could be moving on a fragment of rock that has traveled for millions of years between the stars? Let's ground ourselves in astrophysics before spiraling into science fiction. An interstellar object like 3i Atlas likely originated in the Oort cloud of another star system, ejected during planetary formation. It may have spent tens of millions of years drifting in deep space at near zero Kelvin. Radiation alone could sculpt exotic ice structures. Cosmic rays could generate trapped energy pockets under its surface. One speculative hypothesis suggests the movement detected was a release of volatile gases trapped under crystallized layers, causing sudden shifting of surface material. That could look like motion, but even if natural, it's remarkable to capture such an event up close. However, other details from the alleged Falcon 9 CubeSat encounter don't fit neatly. The object, according to leaked telemetry, changed its reflectivity in synchronization with the probe's radar pulses. Some claim it's a coincidence. Others suggest an unknown feedback mechanism. Could it be piezoelectric minerals generating charge under stress? 
Could it be frozen hydrocarbons undergoing phase transitions triggered by sunlight? Or is there a possibility we've intercepted something more? An artifact, a relic, maybe even a probe from another civilization, dormant until now. Before you dismiss that as fantasy, remember, Oumuamua's non-gravitational acceleration puzzled scientists worldwide. Avi Loeb of Harvard proposed it could be a thin solar sail. Though controversial, it ignited serious debate about interstellar technology. 3i Atlas offers another chance to examine an outsider object. If Falcon 9's CubeSat truly captured anomalous motion, we are at the cusp of rewriting our understanding of what drifts between the stars. Here's what we know so far from publicly released tracking. 3i Atlas passed perihelion, its closest approach to the sun, at about 1.4 astronomical units, roughly 200 million kilometers. It never came closer to Earth than 80 million kilometers about 50 million miles. At those distances, high-resolution imaging is nearly impossible from Earth's surface. But an intercepting probe? That's a game changer. Supposedly, this CubeSat made a flyby at just under 50 kilometers, 30 miles. Imagine what the raw video might show. A dark, tumbling shard silhouetted against distant stars. Jagged ridges glinting as sunlight catches patches of reflective, metal-like sheen. And then, something glides briefly along its edge. A dust plume, a shifting plate, or something else entirely. Did Falcon 9 just give humanity its first look at a technology not our own? Or did we witness a natural cosmic process we've never seen so close? Skeptics argue there's nothing extraordinary. Thermal fracturing and sublimation can mimic motion. But here's where the leaks grow harder to dismiss. The CubeSat allegedly detected a low-power broadband signal after passing 3i Atlas. Too weak to classify, too fleeting to analyze fully, but distinctly artificial in signature, according to those who've claimed to see the spectrogram. An interstellar rock emitting radio-like noise right after a close flyby? If that's true, it demands answers. The implications are staggering. If interstellar space harbors objects that are more than rocks, even one in a thousand, our galaxy could be littered with ancient wanderers, some potentially carrying remnants of civilizations long gone. Even a natural explanation, though, is thrilling. 3i Atlas may hold clues about the chemistry of alien worlds. Traces of exotic isotopes or prebiotic molecules could ride on its surface, offering insight into how life seeds across galaxies. Right now, official agencies remain silent. SpaceX hasn't commented beyond confirming the CubeSat's mission was successful. NASA's Near-Earth Object Office acknowledges the intercept trajectory, but downplays any extraordinary findings. That's expected. Science takes time. But the silence fuels speculation. Did Falcon 9 just stumble onto the first true mystery of the interstellar age? If the videos and data are ever released, it could spark a paradigm shift in how we view our place in the cosmos. And that's where you, the viewer, come in. This isn't just distant science. The universe is speaking in hints and whispers. Are we prepared to listen? If you've been watching so far, ask yourself, why are we suddenly detecting more interstellar visitors? Amuamua in 2017, Borisov in 2019, now Atlas. Are we becoming more capable observers or is there a deeper pattern? Some astronomers wonder if the density of interstellar objects is higher than models predict, meaning our solar system might be part of a busy interstellar highway. If that's true, encounters like this could become routine and what Falcon 9 allegedly intercepted may only be the beginning. The curiosity this stirs is profound. When you look up tonight, every star you see may have worlds ejecting fragments like Atlas, some carrying strange chemistry, others, perhaps, long dead technologies. And now, for the first time, 
we might have touched. If there is motion on 3i Atlas, whether mechanical or geological, we need to understand its origin. To do that, let's trace the possible journey this object has taken. Interstellar space is unimaginably vast and cold, with radiation constantly bombarding any object traveling through it. Over millions or even billions of years, that exposure can alter a rock in extraordinary ways. Ice can crystallize into strange lattice structures, minerals can rearrange, and trapped gases can create internal stresses. When such an object swings close to a star, those stresses can suddenly release, violent venting or cracking, like frozen pipes bursting when they thaw. Some scientists suggest that what the Falcon 9 probe saw could be a massive sheet of crystallized hydrogen breaking loose and sliding across the object's surface. That would explain sudden movement and even reflective flashes. But does it explain the alleged signal? That signal remains the most controversial part of this story. In astrophysics, natural radio emissions are common. Pulsars, auroras, even Jupiter emit in radio frequencies. But an interstellar object emitting a coherent broadband pulse in response to a close flyby? That is harder to dismiss as mere coincidence. Could it have been our own probe's emissions bouncing back in a strange way? That's possible. Spacecraft often ping radar and radio for navigation. An odd shape could scatter signals in unusual patterns. But those who claim to have seen the spectrogram insist the signal contained a regular modulation, as if encoded. If that's real, we may have intercepted not just a rock, but evidence of something engineered. This leads us into a realm both thrilling and unsettling. What if the galaxy has sentinels? Not science fiction drones hovering with intent, but derelict probes launched eons ago by civilizations long extinct. We've done something similar already. Voyager 1 and 2, Pioneer 10 and 11, and New Horizons are all leaving our solar system carrying plaques or messages. Imagine if a distant civilization found Voyager a million years from now. Would they see it as alive or dead? Would its faint signals confuse them? Now flip that perspective. What if 3i Atlas carries remnants of another species' curiosity? The motion could be automated surface sensors waking briefly when triggered by energy changes. The signal could be a dying echo of a probe's memory. If true, it's humbling. A relic not for us, but by coincidence, stumbled upon. Of course, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The scientific community is right to be cautious. But whether natural or artificial, the encounter raises profound questions. Why now? Are we just noticing because our telescopes are better and Falcon 9 has made quick intercepts possible? Or is there a clustering of interstellar objects due to galactic dynamics we don't yet understand? Our solar system orbits the galaxy every 225 million years. During its orbit, it may pass through denser, star-forming regions. That could increase the odds of interstellar visitors. If so, what we're seeing with 3i Atlas could be a preview of many more to come. Let's step back and consider the observational data. Atlas's tumbling rate appears chaotic. It's not spinning uniformly. That makes sense if it's an irregular fragment from a larger body. Some astronomers propose it could be a shard of a planetesimal disrupted by tidal forces near its home star. If so, its composition could include exotic alloys or crystalline forms unknown to us. That might explain strange radar reflections. Even a fully natural explanation is revolutionary. Imagine analyzing a chunk of another solar system's crust without leaving our own. Every isotope, every molecule, tells a story of alien geochemistry. That's why scientists are eager for even a few micrograms of its dust. But the leaked Falcon 9 CubeSat encounter hints we may already have more than dust. If the probe captured high-resolution video and spectra, even for a few seconds, it could transform planetary science. Detecting organic molecules, for example, would bolster panspermia theories, the idea that life's ingredients hop between stars on objects like this. Even more radical, some thinkers suggest ancient probes could use interstellar objects as carriers, hitching rides to new systems. The motion on 3i Atlas could have been just physics. But what if it wasn't? What if we've just brushed past the faint afterglow of another intelligence reach? There's another layer, geopolitics and secrecy. SpaceX is a private company, but its launches often involve governmental payloads. 
If its CubeSats really intercepted anomalous data, who owns that information? The public? The company? Or does it fall under national security? We've seen parallels before with UFO UAP phenomena. Data is gathered, classified, then slowly acknowledged years later. If there's even a tiny chance we've witnessed something technological from interstellar space, it's likely under intense review by agencies. That doesn't imply conspiracy. It's prudent caution. But it leaves the public grasping at leaks and speculation. And speculation, when done responsibly, fuels discovery. Science begins with questions. What moved on 3i Atlas? What emitted that signal? Why did it happen right as our CubeSat flew by? These questions aren't about proving aliens. They're about staying curious. They challenge us to expand our models of nature and consider possibilities without prejudice. Remember, lightning was once seen as divine wrath. Now, we understand it as electricity. Quasars were once inexplicable. Now we know they're supermassive black holes feeding. The unknown becomes known only when we dare to ask. Let's explore some other natural mechanisms that can mimic intelligence. Electrostatic discharge across its surface could create transient radio noise. Subsurface caverns collapsing could shift materials like an avalanche, looking like motion. Solar wind interacting with metallic veins could create induced currents detectable as radio. None of these require aliens, but all are exotic and worth studying. And that's what makes 3i Atlas so compelling. It's a laboratory from another star, passing through our cosmic backyard. Even a null result teaches us something. Still, the human mind can't help but wonder, what if? What if the galaxy is whispering in fragments and we've just caught the faintest syllable? Would we even recognize alien technology if we saw it? It might not look like our rockets or our probes, it could be as subtle as a self-replicating nanostructure, or as crude as a tumbling shard carrying dormant data. The only way to know is to look closer. That means more missions, faster interceptors, better sensors. Falcon 9's alleged encounter could be the beginning of a new era, interstellar forensics. Some visionary scientists have already proposed dedicated missions to chase interstellar objects. Imagine a fleet of small, fast probes, ready to launch at a moment's notice, intercepting visitors before they vanish. These missions could ride on reusable rockets, slingshot around planets, and catch up to objects like Atlas. The payoff would be historic. Hard data on alien chemistry, physics, maybe even technology. And if the rumors about Falcon 9 are true, we've had a preview of what such missions could reveal. If you want to follow that journey, to stay on the edge of discovery as we piece together the universe's whispers, make sure you like this video, share it with fellow explorers, and subscribe for more investigations like this. The cosmos is speaking. We just have to listen.